Act One, Ellen helps Richard prepare for a camping trip. Oh, don't forget the, uh, the uh, mustard. And, oh, does anybody want ketchup? Uh, might as well take it along. Ellen has offered to babysit for Max while Richard and Marilyn are away. Mom, we really appreciate you taking care of Max for the weekend, giving up your free time. I love doing it. But Marilyn doesn't feel comfortable about leaving the baby. I'm really concerned about going away for the weekend, Ellen, and leaving you with the full responsibility of taking care of Max. Why is Marilyn so concerned about leaving Max? I love hot dogs. But there is nothing better than a hot dog in the country. Mm, hot dogs and mustard. Mm, cooked outdoors over an open fire. I wish I had one now. <laughs> Do you remember when Daddy and I used to take you and Susan and Robbie to Jones Beach? Oh, I sure do. Wait until dark. We'd make a fire and we'd cook the hot dog. Oh, don't forget the, uh, the uh, mustard. And, oh, does anybody want ketchup? Uh, might as well take it along. And now to make sure we've got the hamburger patties. I have to remember to put them in the bag tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll remind you, Richard. Mom, we really appreciate your taking care of Max for the weekend, giving up your free time. I love doing it. Susan and Harry have a sitter for Michelle in the city, and I'm taking care of Max. It's no big deal. I am happy to do it for you. Well, I guess Max is asleep by now. He's not crying anymore. Poor baby, he's teething. Well, he's asleep finally. I feel so bad for him. It hurts so much when a baby gets his first teeth. He'll be fine, Marilyn. Well, he wakes up several times during the night, and the pain is so bad. I'm really concerned about going away for the weekend, Ellen, and leaving you with the full responsibility of taking care of Max. Oh, well, especially with his teething. I wish he felt better. Please don't worry, Marilyn. Remember, your father-in-law is a pediatrician. We have a live-in doctor if there's a problem I can't handle. I agree, Marilyn. We really don't have to be overly concerned. I'll go upstairs and stay with him until he falls asleep again. Thanks. Try putting him across your lap on his stomach. He likes that. I'll try it. When are Susan and Harry picking you up, Marilyn? They're coming by at 6 tomorrow morning, so we can get an early start. That's nice, and you'll have a full day in the country. And a full night. Tomorrow night, we'll be camping out in tents. <laughs> and coming home on Sunday. We'll be heading back late in the afternoon. <sighs> going to have the time of your lives. Camping out is such great fun. We'll have a great time camping out, I'm sure. But I'm still a little worried about you, Ellen. It will be my great pleasure, Marilyn. Remember, it's only one night. He's asleep. I think I'll sleep through the night now. <sighs> Thanks, honey. I hope he's good when we're away. Well, so do I. Now, to check the list of things we need for the camping trip, we need to bring a flashlight. Hmm. Uh, it's in the right-hand drawer next to the bottle opener. Do we have a bottle opener on the list, Marilyn? No. No bottle opener. Is that one of the things Susan and Harry are bringing? No. And we're bringing the ketchup, mustard, relish, all that stuff and the cooking utensils. Well, here's the bottle opener, and here's the flashlight. Matches. Matches? Yes, of mm -hmm. course, for when we build our campfire. Now, I, I can't build a fire by rubbing two pieces of wood together. And don't forget your camera and film, Richard. All packed and ready. And let's not forget our cassette player and some tapes. Ah. Some music tapes and some blank tapes so that we can record our thoughts about the trip. Oh, that's a nice idea. An audio diary. That's what I thought. Got it. The cassette player and the tape. <laughs> Marilyn and Richard.
Richard will be away for the weekend. But Marilyn is worried. About Max. I hope he's good when we're away. Use, Use the, the present, present tense. When you talk about the future. After when. They will leave tomorrow morning. And they want to take some hamburgers along. I have to remember to put them in the bag tomorrow morning before we leave. Use the present tense when you talk about the future. After before. Max keeps crying. He doesn't want to sleep. Maybe he will fall asleep again. I'll go upstairs and stay with him until he falls asleep again. Use the present tense when you talk about the future. After until. Will Max miss his parents this weekend? Maybe there will be a problem with him. We have a live-in doctor if there's a problem I can't handle. Use the present tense. When you talk about the future, after if. I hope Max goes to sleep after Richard and Marilyn leave. I hope Max goes to sleep as soon as everyone says goodbye. I hope Max gets a lot of sleep while Richard and Marilyn are on their trip. Use the present tense. When you talk about the future, after, 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 as soon as, after, while. In Act 2, Marilyn, Richard, Harry, and Susan arrive at their campsite. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Harry has been camping before, and he knows what to do. Well, we'll put everything over there. We'll set up our tents over there by the edge of the woods, and we'll be able to make our fire there where it's safe. Later, Marilyn and Richard listen to the sounds of the country. I've been having a hard time keeping my eyes open just listening to it. Like special music. And Marilyn gets an idea. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. To be away from the city on such a beautiful day is my idea of heaven. Oh, the grass, the trees, the fresh air. <laughs> I told you you'd like it. I've been doing this for years. You have the spirit of a teenager, Susan. What do you see yourself jumping around? That's what I love about Susan. She works hard. She plays hard. She's a real steward. <laughs> Come on, Richard. Help me get this stuff out of the car. Where does it go? Well, we'll put everything over there. We'll set up our tents over there by the edge of the woods, and we'll be able to make our fire there where it's safe. Oh, and there's our table and benches, all set for eating. That's what makes this spot so good. Mm. Is anybody hungry? I am. I just got here. When you're out in the fresh air like this, it makes you hungry. Aren't you hungry, Marilyn? I sure am. How about you, Richard? Starving. <laughs> you guys are like three kids. Aren't you hungry, Harry? Well, yeah, now that you mention it, I, I guess I am. I mean, how could a guy not be hungry with all this talk about eating? Where's the bag with the chicken salad sandwiches? Right here, next to the ice packs. Here, put the tablecloth on the picnic table, and I will bring the cola and the plastic cups. <laughs> Well, how do you like it so far? Never been more relaxed. Mm, me neither. I wish we had brought Michelle, Harry. She would have loved it. Oh, you're right. I wish we had brought Max. Marilyn, Susan, 
Let's not begin to worry about Michelle and Max. We're having a good time, and they're in good hands. Richard is right. Are you having a good time, Susan? You haven't answered my question. I am having a good time, Harry. <laughs> I promise not to think about the city. We're in the country. Let's all just enjoy this wonderful place and this wonderful weather. Good. This is heaven, Harry. It was such a great idea to spend the weekend this way. Thanks, Susan. I thought you'd all like it. Like it? I love it. Listen to the sounds of the summer that surround us. It's so calming. I've always liked camping out. Away from the telephones and account books. <laughs> refreshing for me. Now, I always go back to the city in a, a wonderful state of mind. We've only been here for a day, and I've completely forgotten about all my business problems. The office seems so far away. I'm glad you like it, Susan. We'll spend many more weekends like this. And next time we'll bring Michelle. I wish she were here with us to enjoy the country. And next time... We'll bring Michelle. <laughs> Just listen to the sound. So soothing. I can hardly keep my eyes open. If only we could bottle the fresh air. <laughs> mm. Wouldn't it be wonderful? Or we could call it deep sleep country air. <laughs> Put you to sleep. Mm -hmm. So does the sound. Hmm. I've been having a hard time keeping my eyes open just listening to it. It's like special music. Too bad we can't bottle the sound. We can. Can what? Bottle the sound. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Great idea. Let's do it. Let's leave our work behind us. Let's get away somewhere. Let's pack up what we need. Enough for a weekend to stay. Let's go on a camping trip, cause we all need to get away. We'll bring some hot dogs with us. Burgers and ketchup too. Don't forget the mustard, cause we're gonna have a barbecue. We'll pitch our tents right by the woods And we'll enjoy the view The sights and sounds of the country Are waiting for me and you We'll set up our tents over there by the edge of the woods And we'll be able to make our fire there where it's safe We'll cook our dinner every night Over an open fire We'll go fishing on the lake If we can get a boat for hire and if there's any problem, something we don't know about, park rangers are always there, they'll always help us out. We can walk a hiking trail, there's a lot to see out there. We can pick some flowers, you can wear them in your hair. So pack up your hiking boots, cause you have to dress up right. And don't forget a lantern, cause it gets real dark at night. There's always something going on, there's plenty for us to do. The sights and sounds of the country are waiting for me and you. <laughs> Hi. 
In Act 3, Richard, Marilyn, Harry, and Susan return home from their camping trip. Welcome home, and I do mean welcome home. Oh. Richard thinks that something is the matter. Something wrong? And he tries to solve the problem. It works. <gasps> what works? sure everything is fine. My mother knows all there is to know about taking care of babies, I assure you. <laughs> Let's put some of this stuff away and then take off. We've got a 40-minute drive into the city. Oh, welcome home, and I do mean welcome home. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Richard, believe me, Max is fine, but his teeth hurt, and he just can't get to sleep, poor dear. <sighs> Neither can you. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I'm fine. How was your weekend? We had a great time, Mom. It was wonderful. The weather couldn't have been better. It was nice here, too. Did you get a chance to get outside at all? Oh, yes. Uh, Grandpa helped me yesterday afternoon. I went to the supermarket to get a few things, and I stayed out an extra half hour. The village was filled with people. The weather was so nice. Harry's a professional camper, Mom. He knows all there is to know, and he made the weekend very easy for us to enjoy. Uh, Come on. You all helped. <laughs> you were wonderful, Harry. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Why don't you go to your room, Mom, and get some sleep? Tell me more about your weekend. Did you do anything special? Lots of special country things. We picked flowers. Uh -huh. And we brought some home for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so nice to be out in the country. Mm, they smell wonderful. Everything smelled so special. It would have been great if we had been able to bottle the smells. <laughs> It'd be a great business if you could do that. Mm. Oh. We're home now, Ellen. We'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Let's see if it works. What's that? Um, a little special country music. Oh, I think we'd better head home. It's getting late and we have a bit of a drive. Hmm. Well, all your things are inside. There's your sleeping bag. Oh, thanks, Harry. Say goodbye to Richard. Mm -hmm. We'll call you all tomorrow night. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh, I'm so tired, I think I'm overtired. I don't know if I can get to sleep. Oh, Max has stopped crying. Yeah. works. What works? This. Oh. Oh, where did you get that? Ah. It sounds so nice. I think I'm falling asleep. <laughs> well, like Max did. Hmm. Night. Night. Sounds of the country. Mm -hmm. The soothing sounds of the country. Max is fine, but his teeth hurt, and he just can't get to sleep. I think Ellen wishes that Max had felt better. If he had felt better, Ellen would have slept more. Oh, I 
feel so bad. Uh-oh, I think Marilyn wishes she had taken Max camping. If Marilyn, Max, Ellen, an easier weekend. That's right. If Marilyn had taken Max, Ellen would have had an easier weekend. I stayed out an extra half hour. The village was filled with people if the weather was so nice. I bet Ellen wishes that she had stayed in the village a little longer. If she in the village a little longer, she so tired. You're right. If Ellen had stayed in the village a little longer, she wouldn't have been so tired. Harry's a professional camper, Mom. He knows all there is to know. I'm sure Richard wishes he had gone camping before this weekend. If Richard... Before he... What to do? That's right. If Richard had gone camping before, he would have known what to do. Thank you.